Do you believe that Assad should be viewed by the international community as a war criminal? I think that uh, based on uh, definitions of war criminal and uh, crimes against humanity, there would be an argument to be made that uh, he would fit into that category. I am a war criminal, a dictator and tyrant. I thought that guys looked like these. Isn't this what your politicians told you? This is me. Do I even look like a bad guy? What difference do you see between this and this? Syrian government has shown its contempt for the international community, for its Arab neighbors, and most of all for its own citizens. And they are setting themselves against the aspirations not only of the Syrian people, but of the entire Arab Spring, the Arab Awakening. <laughs> I guess I'm a bad leader then, huh? Why don't we see what a great leader you are first? Because tonight I'm thinking about why we're all here. And it's not just to win a primary or even just to win an election. What propels us is the struggle to realize America's promise. A nation where every child can achieve his or her God-given potential where every man and woman has a fair chance. I've met families in this state and all over our country who've lost their homes to foreclosures, men and women who work day and night but can't pay the bills, and hope they don't get sick because they can't afford health insurance. Young people who can't afford to go to college to pursue their dreams. Cool. Promising the people many things. Jobs, health insurance, college, education. That's great. So what do you eventually accomplish? Jobs, education, healthcare, better economy. Tell me one thing that you have done for your life. Since the past four years, you could work on anything you wanted. Instead of working for the people, what you did was to lobby against Iran, then Libya, and now my country, Syria. I felt like we all spoke from our hearts, and I am so gratified that you responded. Now together, let's give America the kind of comeback that New Hampshire has just given me. Where is America's comeback, Hillary Clinton? Where is the delivery of your promises? Well, that's it. Even when given any position you want. Now look at my people. You say I suppress my people? You say I am against the aspirations of the Syrian people? Then how do you explain this, Hillary Clinton? Tens of thousands of people love me and want me. And send a clear message of support to the people of Syria. Slaughtering thousands of unarmed civilians, including children. And prepare for the democratic transition. People of Syria, 
unarmed civilians, democratic transition. What is she talking about? Who is she talking about? There are heavily armed gangs on the streets. They are in direct conflict with government authorities. What peaceful protesters is she talking about? Since when did guns become a part of democracy? Since when did killing each other become a part of democracy? Whatever happened to dialogue and discussions? Whatever happened to peaceful acts of civil disobedience? The question is, who is supplying these guns in my country? How do simple people get the funds to buy weapons? That too, of such magnitude and for such a long time. That they are trying to take down the entire military of a country. Since when does this happen? <laughs> must understand they are setting themselves against the aspirations not only of the Syrian people but of the entire Arab Spring, the Arab Awakening. They are basically saying to Tunisians, to Libyans, to you know, others throughout the region, well, we don't agree that you have a right to have elections, to choose your leaders. Arab Spring? Only Egypt and Tunisia were the true democratic revolutions. Libya was not a part of the Arab Spring. Libya was another Iraq bombed by foreign countries. More than 30,000 people died in Libya with your solution. People did not take guns on the streets in Egypt and Tunisia. People did not kill each other in Egypt. Outside politicians, funding and guns were not required in Egypt. I think every one of us would like to see Security Council action. And what is that action she is talking about? That action is bombing the cities of Syria or support and fund armed gangs to create more violence in my country. I would be willing to go back to the Security Council again and again and again. Why are you pushing for regime change? And why not social reform? Why are you even going to the Security Council? If you really care for the people, why don't you come to the people? Ask them which policies they are unhappy with and get those policies changed. Why are you working on getting more people killed? Why are you working on bombing my cities? Why are you working on funding and supplying guns to my people and increasing conflict? You talk about the Arab Spring, then follow the footsteps of Egypt and Tunisia. Drop the weapons, use dialogue, use democracy, use the law, stop the violence. And get everything resolved peacefully in a democratic fashion. <laughs> going to be any news if the United States says Assad needs to go. Um, okay, fine. What's next? If Turkey says it, if King Abdullah says it, if other people say it, there is no way the Assad regime can ignore it. I think this is smart power. It's not just brute force. It's not just unilateralism. It's being smart enough to say, you know what, we want a bunch of people singing out of the same hymn book. Singing out of the same hymn book? That's exactly what you worked on. To get everyone to sing the same song. To get everyone to do what you want to do. 
to get everyone to be the culprit and not you alone. Have you ever heard Hillary mention any policy that she is unhappy with? Have you ever heard of her promoting policy reform that is better for my people? That is because she is not about policies and she is not about the people. She just needs regime change so that her companies get hefty contracts just like it was done in Iraq and Libya. For that she is using smart power, not attacking alone but ganging up and then attacking together. Since when do outside politicians know what is best for us? How many years has she lived in Syria? What does she know about Syrians and the problems we face and the changes we need? If she was about the people, she would come to the people. Instead, she is working for the people that she knows best, that is, the American companies. She is using the tools that she has in plenty. Funding, media, weapons, political contacts, and smart power. How about dropping the weapons, stopping the violence, and working out things peacefully in a democratic fashion. We need peace for progress. We need better jobs, better economy and a quality life. We need peace and tranquility to be able to focus and work on these issues. And we can't do that when we have these politicians bringing war on our heads all the time. We can't do that when we live in fear and insecurity. We need peace for progress. No more wars for money. Stop Hillary Clinton. Ich bin so